A super special shout out to all my amazing members and patrons for going above and beyond in supporting the channel. If you want to join them, consider becoming a patron. The link as well as the associated perks are in the description down below. Hey everyone and welcome back to Ravenhurst mod. As you guys can see, I have dug quite a bit of a tunnel. I think it goes all the way to about there and then turns back for the second road that I'm busy over here with. I have two or had two blackstrap coffees on me and two upstairs. This one's actually starting to spoil now. I wanted to use this one uh, for the rest of the night because it's only 2 a.m. right now, but we are getting kind of full. And I want to show you guys this. Can you remember there's a quest that wants you to make like a pallet of wood? You need 2,000 wood and you can make a pallet of it. Well, you can actually basically do that with all the resources. Now, as you know, in Darkest Falls, you can make bundles of resources. And these bundles allow you to save space. Well, these work exactly the same. Let's click it to a safe area. The zombies walking out around all around us. Okay, so yeah, we need pallets. Empty pallets. Ooh, the amount of lag I'm getting right now. I wonder if there's not another wandering horde. Okay, so oh, is that all I have left? Um, empty pallet, pallet, pallet. Let's go for pallet. How many can I make? That's too many. We'll only make about 10 for now. I can actually make five over here and five on the next side. I keep forgetting that I have two benches right next to each other. But yeah, basically, we can now go and get those pallets. And we can take four stacks of something, 2,000, and make it into a pallet. And I think the pallets might be able to stack. But even if they can't, there's going to be way more space in the boxes. But at the moment, doing this, look at this. Completely full. Also, that's cobble. That is pallet of iron. See, this pallet of here, I don't think it can stack, yeah. But basically, four can go into one. So it saves up so much space. I actually want to see, though, we have so much cobble and stone. Or so much clay and stone. I mean, look at that. Only 800. That's 84 blocks worth, but it's still so expensive. I need to make sure we can start making a base or making repairs and stuff. And we, uh, without that, I can't. Okay, these over here might also be done. Yeah, there's a lot of lag right now. Constant non-stop zombies in this mod. I should also be able to do this and lure all the zombies around me. Come one, come all. Okay, do this. Do this. Boom. Just like that, we have eight more murky water times 60. That's 480 more concrete mix right there. Although we have to obviously first go and cook it in over here. It's the only hiccup, but it's... Oh, um... I need to actually make a box for some stuff next to that as well. Instead of having to come here every single time and grabbing some pallets, I need to actually have like a small box for wood over here. i do that. Okay. So that's going to be cooking over there. This bottled water, I don't want to make that yet. Especially since it's going to spoil if I do. This over here, I haven't taken out yet and it hasn't started spoiling. So I wonder if you have to first take it out before it spoils. So if I leave it in there, it should indefinitely not spoil at all. This coffee now will spoil. Food and drink. Farming goes over there. Okay, and then as for the pallets, we go over here. Now you can make yourself a pallet of whatever. Oh, oh, out of mining volume 5. Okay, I can make pallet of stones and stuff at least. Pallet of wood, pallet of stone, but I need pallet of iron. Out of mining 5. We have to remember that. We have to look for out of mining 5. Uh... Whoa. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely going to help us out quite a bit with the space in that one box. Do that. Do that. So that's the pallets of stone. I want to go back to the desert. I wonder if I shouldn't go up there. Like we can quickly go for this over here. We can go do the quest. Uh, pop in by Jen. Go visit Bob. And then just quickly pop over here. Because now that I know what to look for. It's like a small black node. It's almost like um, coal. It's a small black node that we're looking for. And then as soon as we have that, we'll be able to make ourselves some steel. Because that's carbon. Okay, I need gunpowder. Gas can, gas can. Probably save it until we can make this gas can. It's a little bit more um, cost... Product it's more productive, more... I don't know. Cost efficient. That's the word I'm looking for. Cost efficiency. Okay, so it is nighttime. Our game stage is 176. If I go to another biome now, it's going to be a little bit of a problem. We might be able to go do that treasure at least. And as this finishes, I need to actually make myself some more of these over here because I'm going to need more concrete mix. To make a mixture cost what? Yeah, okay. Both of these have split, so I can only look here. Mixer. 
Cement mixer. What do we need? What do we need? Forged iron. Oh, wow. We were crafting a ton of this over here. Where's that wood? You can hear there's so many zombies around us right now. It's almost morning as well, so at least we don't have to worry. That's going to be on two, three, four. Yeah. 20 minutes worth for now. Technically, I should put the fifth minute. Brass. I'll keep that in there because we can make more hinges. As well, about five. Okay, I thought I had some iron smelted in over there, so I need to smelt more. Iron and clay. Oh, yeah, I just used up all the clay, so I can't do that right now. I might be able to buy from the trader, though. Cement goes with either other supplies or building supplies. See, even with all those pallets we're making right now, we still have so much stone left. That's insane. Oh, yeah, we have a stone pallet over here, and we have this. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a little bit of a different story. Damn. Even with all of that, we still don't have enough space. Okay, at least we're getting more cobble and stuff right now. Um, I need to make more cobble blocks, but for that, we're going to need mortar too. So, cobble blocks you can make over here. Cobblestone blocks. Boom. And pallet. Okay, I wish this just ran a little bit more smoothly because it does stutter a lot on my side. I don't even know if you guys see the stutter as badly as I do. Okay, so we're going to need duct tape before I can make these, but I definitely want those. Just to have a better quality, but eh, it's a waste of glue right now. Currently, our current armor isn't breaking, so why go and fix it? Also, yeah, we're definitely going to have to smelt some iron. I'm going to have to stop this. We're going to have to smelt some iron and clay into the forges because we need... Make ourselves forged iron and more of the um, arrows as well. Also, to smelt stuff faster, you can put same the, the advanced bellows in all three slots. Even though this says advanced bellows, you can put the brick mold in here. It doesn't matter. So if you have three advanced bellows, you should see how fast the stuff smelts over here. Okay, so we're going to go do this, do this, do this. And then we have to make ourselves a ton of these arrow molds over here. I desperately, desperately need some arrow molds right now. Okay, so while that's cooking up, we can actually make some more cobble at the back of here. That should stack. Boom. Okay, let's quickly go for the treasure. Um, technically, we should probably first go to Gen and Ultra Infested. But I want to go up over there and see. So hopefully that Ultra Infested doesn't have too much loot that we want. Treasure map will definitely have a ton of ammo, so we have to be careful of the space being used. Look at all the zombies down here. It's a non-stop constant stream of zombies. Look, I'm not complaining about the XP. But because there's so many zombies spawning all the time, that's what causes all the lag on the game. Okay, I'll have to make sure that I have the right glasses on for this. And then this, I'm just going to dump. The nice thing about doing treasure quests, look at that. Almost a whole pallet worth of, <laughs> of that, just like that. Okay, so we have to see if we... Uh, where is my lucky looter right now? Maxed out or not? I have to start putting points in that as well to make sure we get the best of the best. Also, ammo that I'm not using right now in a cell, but in tier 5 buildings, you get like T1 and 2 weapons. Even though they're like really crappy quality, they fire 5.56. Five, so there are automatic weapons that actually fire those. Hello, hello, hello. You were brave enough to jump down here. I give you uh, props for that. Okay, so yeah, we need space right now. Um... I can put the clay on the vehicle. We have to be careful though because I forgot to bring a repair kit and the vehicle is uh, not looking that well. Okay, that stuff we're going to sell. For now, I actually want to sell this just to make some space. The 9 mole and stuff we'll be, uh, definitely be able to use. The stuff that we use, we keep. The rest of the stuff for, the, for now, since we don't have those weapons yet, I'll sell them. I have so much 556 at the base, I really don't have to worry about it. Also, all of these birds' nests, I should probably be stopping for all of them. But it's way more efficient just going for a chicken if you see a chicken. The only problem is if you don't see any chickens, then you waste all those birds' nests. But only getting like four or five feathers is just not worth it. Every now and then I have to go check the traders as well. Because they love selling the um, feathers. There's like sometimes stacks and stacks and stacks of feathers at this cell. Cannot be used, cannot be used. Ah! 
Hello, Z zombie. Bye bye, Z zombie. So this is another super infested. So, oh no, this is ultra infested, isn't it? So our game stage is gonna shoot so up so high. Oh, the only bonus of actually really going for these birds' nests. Well, sure, that a uh, little bit of feathers, but if we can get some eggs, we can make omelets. Although obviously on the single player, I have it set to spoil, so not really gonna help me that much. Ooh, what was that just now? Please don't tell me that's another wandering horde coming in before I even start a quest. My nightmare is getting attacked by a, a, a nemesis or something as I start the quest. See, it says tier 2 ultra. Oh, yeah, yeah. This was a tier 2. This wasn't a tier 5. Yes. Okay. So, technically, it shouldn't be as bad as a tier 5, is right? Although, look at the amount of zombies in there and tell me that's not as bad. I feel like these tier 2 infesters have way more zombies than a tier 5. Let's radiate it up top. This one downstairs. Only two dots. Wait for them to smack the door open and then we just shoot through the hole that they make. Come on. Easy peasy. And that dot at the back didn't even wake up yet. Get more, all my arrows back. We don't have any to waste right now. Hello? Who's still awake? None of these... Oh, is that spider? No, the spider's dead. Isn't he? What's that? Is that just the red dots over there that I'm seeing right now? I'm hoping. I think there's more to this side. What I could do... It might be one of these... Oh, hello. I was about to say... It might be one of these that just the red still is red. Not supposed to, but it does. Thank you, crossbow. My arrow's back. Why is she stuck in the floor? I hate it when they do that. Hello, 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 hello. Do this. These zombies from outside do not interfere via. See, we don't have the bolts to spend right now, so I can't afford to miss too much. And every time I shoot, I have to make sure I just spam E on the corpses to see what I can actually get back. Go down. Show me your head. Boom. There should be a zombie or two around the corner over there. And then obviously downstairs, there's going to be a lot. And then I just have to get the loot in this place after. Especially inside these shelves over here, you might get some really good loot. So I have to go back for that. Okay, okay. Because Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What was that started just now? What's my game stage? Oh, oof. Yeah, be careful of a nemesis, John. Okay. My only problem now would be like jumping like this and seeing a huge ass nemesis next to me right now. With the amount of lag I'm getting, it's either zombies, like an insane amount of zombies around me, or there might be a nemesis, because they, for some reason also, the moment they start spawning, the frame rate drops. On the server, when we got the massive uh, boss and nemesis horde, we just literally got so much lag. It went from, like, kind of smooth, because we set the max zombies down from, like, 80 to 64 or something, and it was way smoother, and all of a sudden, when those things started appearing, oh, the lag. This room almost never has zombies anymore. But just because this room doesn't, doesn't mean the other room doesn't. I have to also repair this as soon as possible. It's just starting to break. The lag might just be from the sheer amount of zombies back here.
the dot to the right. Oh, come on, that was perfect. I'm waiting for that hit sway. Oof, I feel so sorry, lady. I know that must have hurt. He always gets stuck on the adult first, and then he tries getting around. Okay, and done. The stealthing is key to this uh, mod now. He's definitely wearing a shirt, right? Yeah, that's a shirt. You can see the sleeve. It looks so bad, though. <laughs> when I first saw a design, I was like, oh, please don't tell me that's going to get me, um, like, a strike or something. But nope, that is clothing. You just have to pay attention to it. Okay, so yeah, I have to make sure that we loot this and we loot the final stash and then I have to go through this place grabbing all the shelves and stuff. I think there's also one or two like hidden stuff that I missed. So I have to pay attention to that as well and hopefully I don't get too encumbered right now. We're going to go to Jane and see if we can sell a few things anyways. Ten and six two we'll keep. Whoops. If we can sell a ton of stuff to her, we can go to the desert and mine some carbon. We do have a steel pick, so it's ideal to go there now. Although, yeah, we don't, we don't want to waste the daytime and we don't want to waste the nighttime. But since the wasteland is going to make our game stage skyrocket, you don't want to be in the a desert or snow at night. Unless you have, like, proper, proper, proper weapons. If you guys notice, we're getting way more of these um, empty jars as well. That's awesome. And murky water. With this latest update, with the building update for the uh, concrete, we're getting so much more from these things. Grab all of that will sell. Oof. Okay, yeah. Space. I need space. We can make our own. We can't take that apart yet, but we can scrap it perhaps. Nope. This we can eat. See, we need space now. I need to go and drop some stuff in my vehicle. I think there's some ammo on there, right? I need to drop that on my, uh, on my vehicle, and I just want to grab the rest of the stuff. I need a better vehicle to be able to grab. Look at that. Twine. I saw twine. I want to be able to, every time I come here, just grab everything we need. If you do a quest, grab everything. You might get some twine, might get some stuff you need later. Okay, let me just quickly grab everything and then we're going to go to Jen's place. Okay, so there's not much more of here that I can grab. I'm actually res uh, resorting now to just leaving stuff inside the shelves because we just don't have enough space. Like stone we have at the base, leave it. Uh, hinges we can make, feathers we need. Some of the stuff, I just, I don't have space to grab everything. It feels weird because me, I usually grab everything. So the sooner we can get to actual tier 5s, I just need to have the hazmat the helmet. The sooner we can get to a tier 5 building with some um, great loot, the research desk, or the uh, socket. We need a socket right now. The better. I just need that socket and I can make myself a buggy. And the buggy has so much more space. I think someone said it has something like 80 or something storage. We'll see. But yeah, it has a ton of storage for us to use right now. I'm just going through all of these because I'm looking for more water so we can make more concrete mix. Uh, we still have to do the repairs to the ward base itself, uh, which is going to take us a long time as well. So I need to get back there before Sunday. It's now Friday in game. It's actually nice that you can pay attention to the time that way. Every Sunday is ward night, so it's now three days before day. Or two days before ward day, it's now, yeah, you get, you get what I mean. Okay, I need to go up over here. Come on, give me something good. I also have to get more of these barricades. We're running short at the moment. Ooh, this is actually a really good haul. Uh, we have cloth at the base. We have that at the base, that at the base. Let's go. I should probably have dropped the nails. I'm constantly sniping zombies around me as well and wasting so many shots or arrows just to make sure they don't interfere with us over here. This is 64 spawns still, and we're getting non-stop zombies right now. This poor lady is infested so, at the moment with zombies. What are you today? Okay, so I'm going to sell all of this, except the 762. Thank you. Uh, fire extinguisher, we have a ton at the base. We don't need this. I need to keep this. Later when you have the bench, the ammo bench, you can actually take those apart. But at the moment, I don't know if I should keep that or not, because that's still later. Like, not even close to us right now. Okay, so no books you can sell us. Healing, kind of. Food. Yeah, let's just eat that. Duct tape, forged iron. At least we have quite a bit of cash, so I don't have to worry about spending. But at the same time, I can't grab too much, because otherwise we're going to have a problem going to the desert right now. So I'm more just hitting a vehicle. 
Okay, I so unfortunately she doesn't have anything else for us. Let's see if there's any drinks over here. Candy bars. Ooh, hello. And just like that, my inventory is full. Let me see if I can't sell a few more things to you. I have to just bite it and sell whatever I don't need right now. Okay, but yeah, like I said, after we're done here, I just quickly want to go to the desert and see if we can get a little bit of carbon. If we can st start making ourselves some steel, that would be epic. Okay. You just brightened my day. We do have steroids in case I need to start running for some reason. Did we get these yet? No, we did not. And this, no, the chunk reset will also reset the damage to a place. And as you can see, there's quite a bit of damage over here. Um, if you're not in a certain uh, area for a while, then the game sometimes just goes and resets that area for you. Uh, don't need any more vehicle books or anything, so let's go. Okay, so now all we need to do is go over there. Whoopsie, almost hit me off my bike. I have to be so careful with these zombies. They just have to touch you and then you just fly off your bike. On the server, I got attacked by a nemesis zombie now. That's terrifying. It didn't do much damage with the first attack, but it knocked me down. So if I wasn't able to grab my bike again... Oh, oh dearie me. There's actually a really pretty cool trick that I've learned on the server as well. For those who don't know, climb on your bike, press Q, and the vehicle starts driving. Press Q again, and it's like you're holding down a shift. You don't have to steer with your left hand. Although, you have to be careful, though, because, uh, yeah, that goes... Especially if you have a supercharger. Ooh, this bike is fast. But basically, uh, to free up your left hand, because I'm using my right hand for my mouse, and my left hand for, like, uh, just E and shift and stuff. Just take your hand off, and then you can, like, eat and drink while you're driving. Just be careful, though, because, like I said, uh, the bike goes so fast, sometimes you have to brake quickly. And then you're slightly screwed because you can't break. I'm actually looking for a building like this. I don't exactly know what the name is. Uh, it's like an open theater. And there's a ton of vultures that attack you over there. For now, the easiest way for us to get feathers is killing vultures. I desperately need me some vultures right now. Okay, also, yeah, whether we go to the biome right now or not, all depends on whether I can actually get some fuel over here. If we don't get fuel here now, I won't be able to go to... Dude, this is still here, so I don't think there's gas over here. Damn, I only have like 16 gas left. If I go to the desert right now, we're going to be stuck there. Acid, we should probably buy. Oh, I really wanted to go mining a little bit right now. Unfortunately, I can't take that chance. If I go there now and we get stuck there at night, that's going to be really bad for us. I mean, some of you guys might actually enjoy seeing me suffer. But at the same time, it's just yeah, too dangerous right now. now. Okay, this stuff is going to spoil. When it spoils, it at least turns into murky water. So that's even better for us. The more murky water we can find right now, the better. Because then we'll be able to go and make a ton of... Um, what's it called? Concrete mix. We can make a ton of concrete mix. So I'm actually... I'm thinking of putting it in a normal water container so it just spoils faster. Although there's the pricey ones that can really fill us up. This one and this one. I have to keep inside the fridge. They fill you up like 78 water, so having them spoil is really bad for you. See, there is a ton of fuel tanks in this area over here, but you only get like 46 each. Some of these buildings have quite a bit of fuel. I'll, I'll see going down there if I can actually see some barrels. If I see some barrels, we might be able to fill up the vehicle just enough to actually quickly go to the desert. But seeing the barrels is another thing as well, because most of the barrels usually are behind the buildings. And now we're going past the front. Ooh, hello. Some vending machines over here. Oops, bye-bye. Oh, she almost smacked me just now. But yeah, unfortunately, it seems there's definitely no fuel over here. And we need so much fuel just to be able to go to the desert right now. At least 500 fuel should be enough to take us there. But if we don't have that much, we won't be able to really do anything. Oh, this is the mine. I wonder how dangerous it's going to be in this mod. The, over here, you can go down into a mine shawl. I think that's going to be... Oh, I'm actually getting chills just thinking about that. That would be super dangerous going down there. Okay, so yeah. Unfortunately, can't go mining today. But I definitely do want to go mining on camera soon there. To be able to see if we can't get ourselves some of that um, shale. Not shale. Uh, carbon. Apparently, it's not a byproduct of carbon. It's right next to the carbon. Yeah, we're looking for POIs with more of this, but there's only there's only so much fuel 
at a pure aisle in, in these containers. So at the moment, it's definitely not worth it. Okay, I'm going to try and see if I can just grab every single bird as I come across. Uh, there's three there, but I need to actually drive over them. I'm not going to go out of my way for them. But if I can get some like that, and then also I'm going to keep my eyes open for chickens, because those, like I said, are the best source. Chickens and vultures for feathers. Okay, since I know that we're so short on bolts, I was actually stopping for as many birds as possible, and that's all we got. So we need uh, vultures and chickens and stuff. Uh, the only way to do this is to do proper quests, proper POIs. I think beer can also spoil. But yeah, if we can do POIs like that with like vultures on the roof and stuff, that's going to give us some more feathers. At the moment, oh, ran past. At the moment, we have a little bit of a problem because we're running short on ammo. It's going to be a really big problem later. Made my day. Okay, forged steel, Here yes. Uh, and pie bombs, yes. Need jobs, tier 5. Spider Bright City Park. We've done this one before, but we can do it again. Since so it's a tier 5 quest, even though it's a tier 2 building, I'm hoping doing enough of these will unlock actual tier 5 infested. So it's a tier 4 building that's infested. Sure, we're going to have a way harder time clearing that place, but the loot will be basically like a hardened chest. It'll be really, really good loot. Hello. Oh, she actually screamed. Okay, yeah, see, it seems the screamers sometimes do work. There's a radiated crop coming in right now. Whoops, and he's dodging it like the Matrix. Actually, I want to kill him like this. I do not want him exploding, thanks. But yeah, it seems all of a sudden the screamer screams are actually working. For some reason at this stage it wasn't working at all, so I was really confused about that. See, beers are also spoiling. Awesome. And then over here we'll put this. That we'll put in a normal box, but these over here we put over here. Man, <laughs> all of this stuff over here is actually spoiling right now. It feels like it spoils, no matter where you put it, it spoils equally fast. Okay, and then I have forged iron out so I can make another mixer. And with two mixers, we'll be able to make uh, stuff way faster as well. Can I make more shafts? Yes. Cobblestone rocks, we can make more. Or concrete. See, the only thing we need right now is murky water. And with this much, if I can make 51 times 60, that's about 3,000 concrete mix. That's about 300 blocks. No, no, it's 20 per block. So it's about 150 blocks worth. Oh, only that much. Damn. Unless my math is wrong right now, we're gonna, yeah, that's gonna be a little bit expensive. Okay, I need to put this rest of the stuff away quickly, and then we have to take care of this wandering horde. I also wanna go do, uh, do those quests, and the more quests we can do right now, the better. I'm actually even thinking of starting to do more nighttime quests. Only problem with that is we have to make sure we have the ammo to back ourselves up, because there's definitely gonna be more bosses and stuff appearing as well. Own vehicles, put that over there. All explosives and stuff I want to start saving for night itself. And then this, we need a advanced, yeah, an advanced repair kit. I, I'm not going to repair it now, but I need to be careful not to wait too long. If you wait too long, you can accidentally break your stuff. Okay, I think we need way more mortar now. And once again, mortar is going to require... Ba -ba -da -da, make your water. Every now and then, I wonder how long it takes to fill these up. Every now and then we have to come check whether there's more of these over here. Nice, thank you. Wait, since these are done, that means this one over here is also almost done. But yeah, basically we need way more uh, mortar right now as well. So let's go over here, resource. Mortar, mortar, mortar. Oh, I do need to make another iron arrowhead mold. Over here we can actually make the mortar. Oh, that's right. We first have to cook it down into murky water. How did I forget that? Oh, we have some over there as well. Did I forget about that? Boom. See, I have to make sure that we don't waste fuel. That's still a minute and a half left, but now it's going to use up all five minutes if I don't stop it myself. So this over here can be turned into mortar. Behind the mortar, we can make ourselves some bolts. Probably also see how many explosives and stuff we can make. What are we short on? Just forged iron. Oh, slightly gunpowder as well. If we had more coal, that would be awesome. Bolts, 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 bolts. What am I short on? Probably the heads right now, right? Oh, ooh, exploding arrows. 
I definitely have to try and see if I can't make some more of these. During a hot night especially. Oh, wait. Why does the mortar only give 20 per still? I thought it was just like the concrete times 60. A little bit expensive, don't you think? Okay, so you guys are all feral, kind of. I'm getting way better at shooting like this. Yeah, you guys are not feral, right? Have to be careful. There might be some ferals from the screamers still left of here. Oh, speaking of... Speak of the devil. Yeah, I don't know if there's little zombies on the inside that are going to fall down on my head right now. I need to be careful. Oh, is that a wandering horde? That might be a wandering horde because that's a lot of new zombies right now. Oh, twins. Oh, crap. Twins. Run. Yeah, this is a wandering horde coming in right now. Oh, damn. Eight wasting bolts. And if they run so erratically, it's really hard shooting them. My bolts back. Yeah, that's definitely a wandering ward right now. If I can just take down the ferals. The nice thing is, as they drop, they have to stand up so I can shoot them as they stand up. It's unfortunate though, as they stand over here on the stairs, they stand really fast. It happens as well, um, like in Darkness Falls on my one design. They end up actually standing so fast that you can't shoot them when, uh, when they when, uh, go on the stairs. As they make the one jump, they're already jumping before they head straight out, so that's insane. My bolts back, please. Thank you. I don't think I got anything back from that just now. Sometimes uh, killing zombies just feels like a massive waste of ammo. Although we do have a kill quest to kill as many as possible with a repeater. And then finally our class quest will be done. And then we have to get a melee class, but for that we need to have the research desk. The research desk will unlock more classes as far as I'm aware. I'm not sure how accurate that is or not. Okay, so we're just going to put the rest of the stuff away. And then next time we have to go do some more quests before nighttime. And I might have to go mining again. We do have the coffee that's busy spoiling right now in the fridge as well. See, this one over here is spoiling. This, these over here that's been crafted, they're not spoiling. So I think you have to take them out before they start spoiling, which is good to know. And then as we get more murky water over here, concept... Oh, there you go. One and a half. As we get more of this, we have to make sure we get a ton... Oh, that was stutter. We get a ton more like mortar and stuff done over here. Mortar. Okay, that should make us quite a bit of concrete as well. Or oh, I mean cobble. Do that, do that. I'm going to take all of these with because I'm going to run out of them fast. If you guys like this episode, please like, share with your friends, comments, tips, and feedback. Leave it down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, ooh -hoo -hoo, remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some more Ravenhurst fun. Members and patrons get shoutouts in all of my videos, get access to a private members-only Discord channel, and as a thank you for supporting the channel, get access to my Seminace that I server. If interested, check out the links in the description down below.